Hello, my friends, and welcome to Jersey Concept Friday. It's Neil here at Post to Post, and today I've got 32 NHL Jersey Concepts for you, deemed specialty series. These are by TWG Designs. I have not seen these before. You have not seen these before. You and I are going to react to these together as we do every single Friday here on the channel. So if you're new and you want to partake in this on a regular basis, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and join us. I have very desperately looked forward to this video all week. I have had a not good week, like at all. I have been dealing with this. I'll put a picture up. So it's been a very long week. Things have just not gone my way uh, this week at all. So I've been very busy dealing with a bunch of stuff that I had no plans on dealing with. But so this is uh, this is a good reward for me at the end of the week. So let's jump into this and let's see what you got, TWG. Let's bring it up on my main screen here. Okay, wow. This is absolutely specialty. This is just not what I was expecting. I was just, it's completely different branding but it still makes sense. It's still logical because of the angels and the logo or a variation of the logo, I guess, has been morphed into an old Anaheim Ducks logo. That is actually really cool. I don't know how plausible this is in terms of like a, a specialty jersey in, in, in consideration of, of how many times it's being used. So for example, an alternate jersey, if a team has a permanent alternate jersey for that may span multiple years, like Washington, they have a predetermined amount of games per year that they wear the jersey. A specialty jersey, is this an event? Is it for warmups? Is it a one-time use kind of thing? Like the uh, St. Pat's Toronto jersey, or I think the Carolina Hurricanes Hartford Whalers jersey that I believe they only use, you know, maybe once or twice. So I'm not, I don't know TWG's, uh, I guess, intentions with this series of what he envisions or how, how much he envisions these jerseys being used. Just based on my impressions, I think that a jersey like this would be a, a one-off jersey, maybe two at the most. I cannot see the Anaheim Ducks using something like this as a long-term alternate or specialty slash alternate, but uh, I like it. I mean, it's definitely different. I like the integration or the relationship rather between the two professional sports teams in this. And I also really like the colors as well. Moving on to the, wow, okay. This is cool too. So this is a combination between you're gonna to have to correct me in the in the comments, but I believe it's the Arizona Sun Devils, or maybe it's not Arizona Sun Devils, it's something Sun Devils. I don't think it's Phoenix Sun Devils, but it's the Sun Devils. And they play, I believe, I think they're a college team potentially, but this is a combination between, again, those two teams, and I like this a lot. That shoulder patch looks so good up there. Now the primary logo, that's a, an amalgamation between two logos, kind of. Um, so it's, it's okay, uh, I think, that would be an okay shoulder patch as well, if I'm completely honest. I love the arms and I love the colors. Let's continue. Boston Bruins. I think there's a Celtic, uh, Celtics, Boston Celtics, Boston, yep, yeah, Celtics. I think there's a, some Celtics influence in here in the logo, obviously, but the jersey itself, and, and by the way, this is using the flat lay uh, template from sportstemplates.net. You can head on over there to sportstemplates.net and get this template and the other jersey template that we normally look at and all kinds of templates over there. And if you wanna save 10%, use code post to post that'll save you 10% on any template on the site, not just the one we're looking at in this video or the one that most people use, which was the original template. There's also templates from other sports and there's free ones on there too. So if you have Photoshop and you wanna jump right in and make some awesome concepts for free, you can absolutely do that. And in the future, if you wanna pick one up, make sure you use code post to post save yourself 10%. Back to the template at hand here, the flat lay template, beautiful and beautiful jersey as well. I actually really like this. I don't know how I feel about the little like loopy inlet up kind of by the upper boob armpit region. I think maybe just a, a straight, completely vertical stripe up. This can continue it all the way up. But I'm not sure, maybe I have to see it in person, but I do like this uh, quite a bit actually. I like the, I really like the arms. Moving on, the Buffalo Sabres Bills, uh, essentially. So it, it looks good, but it's so weird. Like it would be really cool if the Buffalo Sabres did do this as a specialty jersey. As, as kind of silly as this jersey is, it's also kind of plausible. Like the more I look at these, the more I do feel like it's plausible. And I think when I looked at the Anaheim one, I said, this isn't really that plausible or maybe something along those lines. The more that I see these, the more that it would be cool to see kind of a cross relationship between uh, whether it's the MLB or, or the NFL or, or whatever, especially Jersey where maybe every NHL team used an affiliate uh, or an associate, I guess, team 
branding just for a warm up or even a game. That would be really cool, actually. Good cross promotion. Good cross promotion here because this looks good. Moving on. <laughs> okay. So we've done what? MLB, NFL, at NASCAR. Did I miss one? I probably did college, I guess. But uh, this is NASCAR and it looks very NASCAR. Like this is so clearly NASCAR. And it does look okay. I don't love the. The, the finish line up the middle, but it is what it is. Uh, I, <laughs> the, the shoulder patch is small. Uh, this, this is not my favorite so far. What is this? Uh, the, the Columbus Blue Jackets. I do not know the team that this is referencing or pulling from. Don't know the relationship. It's also really blurry and really pixelated. So I, I don't even know if I have an opinion on this one. Let's move on. Calgary Flames with a bit of a fire hall or firehouse influence on the front. Um, I think I personally maybe have, would have used the red in the neck versus the uh, yellow, gold, orange, whatever you want to call that. It's definitely not bad. Not my favorite so far, but uh, n not the worst. It's, it's decent. Chicago. Ooh, I like this. Immediately like this. This is a really good alternate or specialty jersey. Uh, black is a primary but still like, keeping a simple striping, which matches the general brand on the sleeves and on the bottom of the jersey, uh, using the logo that they use on the shoulder patch already, just kind of a different variation of it. Um, but the logo is, is, is modernized, but it's still the same logo. So I think something like this would be excellent, actually. So I, I really like this. Wow, Colorado Avalanche meets Arizona Coyotes sublimation print reverse retro slash original jersey. This is bonkers. Okay. So yes, in terms of a specialty jersey, I think it would work, but I believe you'd have to get rid of the logo. You'd have to put a Yeti on there and really build out that sublimation print on the jersey, like the Anaheim Ducks one. But the the rest of it just doesn't it just doesn't match the logo. Like that logo needs to go on the shoulder or it needs to be removed. The rest of the jersey can probably stay, but it, it, I don't necessarily love their relationship in general anyway, because you know the the. The primary jersey that this is being pulled from is the alternate. So it's it's okay. It's a really interesting jersey to look at or concept rather to look at. Uh, let's move on. Dallas Stars, very plausible decision. We've seen lots of this actually uh, taking the Texas State flag, inter introducing those colors onto a jersey and using a platform, which is maybe the most popular Dallas Stars platform ever, which is the star jersey. So really good uh, kind of relationship between the two. This looks good. I do like it. Okay, when I first saw this, I thought Detroit Lions, but, uh, but then I thought Detroit Cougars because of the history of the Detroit Red Wings. So this is using the Detroit Lions logo, recolorized, obviously. Uh, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite so far, but it's, it's okay. Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, I think I've used, seen people use that uh, primary logo that we see here as, as the primary logo, rather, um, in the past, but I don't think that is a primary logo in my personal opinion, I, I just, it doesn't, it doesn't look right or something. Like I, I'd almost like to see it maybe on a sleeve or I don't, I don't even know. It just doesn't feel right on the front of the jersey for me. There, there needs to be something else on top of it or it needs to be in something. I'm not, it just looks out of place, I think, just kind of floating there. The rest of the jersey's fine. Ooh, Florida, using the, uh, I almost said provincial flag, the state flag of Florida being influenced on their entire, entireness of the jersey. I like the shoulders. As silly as this jersey kind of is, because you get the wrestling belt vibes, and it's just, it's just, it's awkward striping in general. I, I do kind of like it. So um, on paper, this isn't something that I would like, but visualizing and seeing it now, I could be okay with this as a specialty jersey for sure. Wow. Okay. Um, L.A. Is this a, a combination between the, with the Rams? This is, this is really cool, actually. I don't necessarily love the shoulders, but I love everything else that's happening here. It looks really good in those colors as well. Uh, the LA Kings have already used yellow or gold in their history. We, we know this, but just replace the purple with the blue. It still looks good. I don't know if it looks better, but it still looks good. I would be 100% in favor of this. Shout out to LA. Shout out to this jersey, man. If you don't got this jersey yet, you got to get it. Next, Minnesota. Well, we've got that shoulder patch recolorized as the primary logo. Yeah, it's okay. It's just okay. It's a fine, this is a fine concept. I think it should remain a shoulder patch style logo, personal preference. Montreal Canadiens got the years in the arms. That's nice. The globe from 19 whatever, whatever. I don't remember. Off-white. 
as a specialty, specialty jersey, I would be behind this. I think this would be completely acceptable. Yeah, it's good. Moving on, the Devils. What is happening here? Is that is that New Jersey State outlined with horns? I think the Devil itself is a little bit underdeveloped in terms of design. It's, it's a bit weird. I, it almost looks it makes it look he has huge legs or like a like a big gut or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I like the numbers. Moving on, Nashville. You know what? As a specialty jersey, this would be cool actually. Really nice integration with the stripes coming into the middle of the jersey. Just a, a nice, simple, classic style Nashville branded logo. Uh, so as a specialty jersey, absolutely, I think this is this is pretty good. Whoa, I have never seen that before. That looks like the back of a, that's like the nameplate on the back of a jersey, but on the front of a jersey, in the middle of the jersey. It, it, it's, it's so out of place but still like it looks right, but just not there on the jersey. Um, this is weird. I mean, the fisherman is the main influence of the rest of the jersey. I don't know, man, I don't know how I feel about this actually. I think if you're gonna put black there, you need to ex extend it or expand it all the way to the edges. It can't just live floating, I don't think. I'd be very curious, you know how like the, the, the direction that the Philadelphia Flyers went with their stadium series where they had the black that came to the front of the arms and the shoulders, but then that continued all the way to the back and it held the nameplate. What if he used this at the top and it said Long, Long Island here, which would look weird. I completely agree that that would look weird. But if he had that continue all the way around to then hold the nameplate on the back. So like building off of the Philadelphia Flyers idea, but using this as well. I, I don't know if it would look good, but it's just, you know, something that you would play around with maybe in Photoshop or with a template just to see. I, there's just, there's there's something about that though, like what I'm looking at. There's something about it that it does look like it, it is inspiring in a way. I don't like it the way it is, but it's it's different. I really like when, when designers shock me a little bit. Next, speaking of, of being shocked, the New York Rangers here, what is going on? This is a absolutely wild jersey. I love Lady Liberty and how she's designed the, the flames that come up uh, like by the neck. That is so cool. I don't know what the kind of grunginess in the background and stuff, but man, this is a cool jersey. This, I don't think would ever be worn in a game. I don't, this is not plausible. This is a warm up jersey. It is cool though. It is, it is cool. It is cool. Let's move on. Ottawa Senators like the arms, like the bottom of the jersey. I'm okay with the logo actually too. I feel like I'm missing something up top though. We have that white or I can't, it's white or off white in the arms, in the, in the bottom, in the logo, but we don't have any of it up top. So maybe somewhere, maybe just that kind of bronzy color at the top of the neck, maybe that make that white just to provide some balance, but I feel like it's missing some some of that white up top. It's good, it's good though. Is this the same jersey? Almost. The Flyers. Okay, number one, weird to see red on the Flyers. Number two, I don't know where that red is pulled from, what other team that comes from. Uh, I don't recognize that logo. The plane, I see some winglets. So is that an Airbus A320? Is it a 737? I don't know what kind of relationship would be there. Airbus is a based in France, it's a French company. French France, not Quebec, Canada, French. Uh, Boeing is in Washington, so that doesn't make sense for Pennsylvania. I don't know the, I don't know the relationship between whatever's happening here with the logo, so let me know uh, down in the comments. Uh, the red looks weird. It's, a, it's an okay jersey, it's just, it's very strange not seeing the orange. Pittsburgh, weird inner bevel happening here on the logo and on the numbers. Don't know how I feel about that. Don't like the bottom of the jersey as well. It reminds me too much of the, uh, I guess, all, most of the Reebok era of, of Pittsburgh. I didn't like that design branding at all. Probably my least favorite so far, maybe, or second least favorite. Uh, moving on, let's go to Seattle. We've got uh, the Mariners influence here. I think this looks okay. Yeah, I kind of like the, the amount of green that's in there, actually. Might have gone in a different direction with the shoulders, but that's pretty good. Uh, Okay, I had to look down at the team because I didn't recognize what was going on, going on in the middle of the jersey. Is this the Arizona Sharks? <laughs> like what? It almost looks like a Kachina pattern in a way. I don't know the reference to the logo or the pattern in the background. Obviously, it has something to do with San Jose or the Bay Area. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what other teams are in San Jose that would have that. Just not familiar. I like the shoulders. That bit of black in the front of the shoulders, that's actually really cool. This is the part that I love about this process and also is, is a bit frustrating at the same time. I like to look at things and try and figure them out for myself. So when people send in concepts and they provide descriptions and stuff, I don't read them 
because I like the process of trying to figure something out. I like the problem solving aspect of that. But there are times like this when I see something and I have no idea what context it is or where it's coming from or what the inspiration is. And that's when I'll go back and look at an email or I'll read the comments afterwards or something. So it's it's kind of a way for me to communicate after the fact, once the video is released. I'm not sure if that makes sense or not, but I like the process from my end of going through this. I don't care if it makes me look stupid, how I see something and I don't know the context or reference. Uh, it's, it's still a fun process for me, so I don't care how I look. Next, the St. Louis Blues. Really cool arms, actually. I don't know how I feel about the white line on the shoulder. Really interesting arm design, though. Logo's okay. It's not too bad. Let's continue. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Wow, we've got the, well, we've got the wave at the bottom, which comes from the reverse retro and the original kind of jersey. Uh, one of the jerseys, rather, not the original jersey. The rope, the nautical rope as using as striping on the arms is pretty neat. Like the number, the font choice as well, that's good. Now that logo that we've seen them use in a specialty jersey, uh, a warm-up jersey actually, it was it was very good. The neck is, I have a little bit of confliction there just based on the way that the color is in the back top of the neck compared to the shoulders, but it's a really cool jersey. I, I do like it. Ooh, the Maple Leafs. So we're being pulled from the, um, the Blue Jays here a little bit. This actually, you know what? This is one of those ones, again, if you told me about this on paper or you're like, Neil, this is what I'm gonna do. This is how it's gonna look. I'll be like, that ain't it, Captain. But now seeing it, I actually do like it. I think that the text on the front and then the little Maple Leafs logo down there goes against like everything that I believe in from a design standpoint, but seeing it kind of changes things. I'm kind of okay with this actually, it's good. Ooh, Vancouver Canucks, Vancouver Grizzlies, more like it. This is absolutely, like, I don't wanna say perfect because it's it's not perfect, but from a nostalgia standpoint, like I really like this. I fully support this. It's ridiculous, but I love it. I would love to see this be, you know, come a, special, a specialty jersey, but not uh, even if it's for warm up make a retail version of this and sell it. Don't auction it off. Don't sell this for $650 or whatever. Make a retail version of this. People would buy it, absolutely. Moving on, Vegas. Uh, okay, so we've seen, you know, I guess similar concepts to this, Ta really taking into consideration the true nature of Vegas, which is, I guess, gambling, and uh, having that being influenced on a jersey or being put on a jersey, we see that in the glow around the stripes and stuff. I don't know how plausible that is. That's it would be a sublimation aspect there. The logo in the middle, I think is, we could see that in the future or something like that, I think. Um, it's okay, it's, really, it's a really cool concept. Next, the Winnipeg Jets. This is, it's kind of like the New York Rangers one, isn't it? It's good, but it's just like this. It would be nothing more than a specialty. You could, I don't think you could wear this during a game. It's too, it's too almost like roller hockey jersey in a way or something, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. Uh, Washington, which should be the last one. Uh, like the logo actually a lot. Could be some Nationals influence there, I would say. The flag on the shoulder looks good. Stripes look good. It's okay, it's not my favorite so far. Uh, I actually don't know my favorite. I'm gonna have to cycle back through these. Give me a mo moment. I wanna scoot back to the, uh, to the Arizona Coyotes. I think that's gonna be my favorite here because I really like the Sun Devils branding in general. And I love the, the, they're just the relationship between the the burgundy or the maroon, whatever you wanna call that, a little bit of red in there, with the yellow or the gold. It looks so good. It's nothing like we've seen in the NHL ever, really. Um, and I just think it's um, it's just a good looking jersey. It's not my favorite logo. It's not my favorite concept I've ever seen, but it is, it's just different and I really appreciate that. So that's gonna be my favorite from this week. TWG, thank you so much for sending those in. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a good week. And if you did enjoy this video, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. That definitely helps, helps me and the algorithm. And if you're new, I would love it for you to hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much. And let me know down below in the comment section, what was your favorite from this video? All right, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Adios. Yeah.